Hello everyone and welcome to another video from Phoenix. So today we are going to go through the Sunken Temple of Karn. This is the second dungeon in this series that I've made that requires you to do a side quest. So this one is not unlocked via the normal method, so like following your main scenario quest. In order to unlock this one, you need to talk to Nedric Ironheart. And you need to do the quest Braving New Depths. This will bring you to the Sunken Temple of Karn if you follow the quest line and it will unlock it. So let's go ahead and jump right in. That's the wrong dungeon. There we go. So now we just gotta wait for it to, to, uh, to pop. So real quick, I'm gonna teach you guys a little tip for DPS. This is the first video I believe that I've done as a DPS, because I normally like to cover healer and tank bases. But if you're a DPS and you find that your load times for dungeons are really long, you can go to your duty finder, go to settings, and down here where it says language, if you select all of these and hit confirm, you can reduce your queue time. So this basically changes it to where it's no longer looking for a party that only speaks English. It will find anyone among those languages. That does mean that you will occasionally come across either someone you don't understand or people who just don't talk. But if you want quicker queue times and you don't care about the social aspect as much, go ahead and add all those languages and hit confirm. Finally, let's hop right in. Time to explore the sunken temple. And bats. So throughout the dungeon, there are going to be objects on pedestals, like the Helm of Might up here. If you choose to grab them, I will explain what they do later on when we get to that. Most people ignore everything except for two of them. And only two of them are required to get to the end properly. So if you are a DPS in this dungeon, these temple bees, you want to take these out first because they have an ability called Final Sting. It does a massive amount of damage to whoever has the most aggro, so typically your tank. And it has the potential to kill, so you want to take out bees first. Another gem of affluence. This one is also not necessary. Technically, none of them are necessary, but I'll explain that in more detail when we get to the end. So, this boss has a unique mechanic. When he roars, you will be given a debuff called Doom. If this debuff runs out, if the timer is left to fully expire, you will die instantly, regardless of your health. There is no surviving it. When he does this, these three pads that you see here will start to glow. Well, only one of them will glow, and it will glow orange. When it glows orange, like this one, if you stand on it, it removes doom. That's the only way to remove it. Your healer can't remove it for you. 
and it does switch so make sure you're vigilant on which one is orange because it can switch at any time Grab your loot. Alrighty, this big face right here, he has to die on this pad. If he does not die on the pad, it will not open the door. So, I accidentally killed that one. Okay, so our tank is deciding to skip this part. Under normal circumstances, when you're not skipping half the dungeon, you are gonna destroy those two faces on the pads. In those, behind those doors are some enemies, and then there's two items. The Fruit of Knowledge and the Flame of Magic. <clears throat> These are required for the end of the dungeon, which I will explain when we get there. If you don't want to do this properly, you can just kind of go through it like the tank is now. But if you do it properly, and you put all the tablets on the right pedestals, you'll get more treasure. So, the golem. Pretty simple. Um, attack the soul stone, not the actual golem itself. Once the soul stone is broken, you can hurt the temple guardian a lot more. Without the soul stone broken, you only do like 32 damage like I just did we'll go down for a bit and just keep attacking him he will get back up again and the soul stone will be restored you're just going to repeat this process and avoid his attacks. done. Kind of bunch of what looks like daddy long legs. They're gross. I don't like spiders. You're gonna kill all these. Alright, and then you got more of these faces. These ones you cannot skip. You have to kill them on the pad to go forward. So if you've collected all the stone tablets, you can insert them into the stone pedestals. This will open the door and give you a treasure chest. If you do it wrong, it will spawn enemies. So this one here is the Helm of Might, so the one to the left, and then the one to the right is the Gem of Affluence. If you aren't sure, you can just check your map and whatever sounds like it goes there. So like the Vault of Wealth and the Gem of Affluence, they kind of go together. Up here, the left one is going to be...
the flame of magic, and the right one will be the fruit of knowledge. So for these scales of judgment, if you put the right stone tablets on them, it will open up this wall right here. This is a secret wall, and there's a bunch of chests behind it. If you want to do it properly, the left one is the flame of magic, and the right one is the fruit of knowledge, and then you just interact with the scale. If you do this improperly and want to skip it like they did, it summons three enemies. But the door was still open. Not the hidden one, the boss one. This boss is pretty simple. Nothing too crazy about it. Just want to avoid his attacks. If you are DPS, these little uh, juniors need to die on these pads. <clears throat> and then you can also choose to destroy the Mithril Verges or not. It doesn't really affect you too much if you ignore them. The only real mechanic you don't want to avoid is this one. When you see this square, you're going to get inside. You have to get inside. And you're going to destroy the verge. And then let's just rinse and repeat. And just like that, you're all done. Grab your loot. Give your commendations. And exit. Well, that was your second side dungeon. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did enjoy the video, please give me a like. And feel free to comment because I enjoy replying to them. And I appreciate the feedback. Thank you very much. Have a great day.